UFC number one contender Alistair Overeem is one of the most decorated heavyweight fighters today, being one of only two fighters to hold world titles in both MMA and K1 kickboxing at the same time. He also holds notable victories over six former UFC champions. Andre Olofsky, Fabrizio Werdum, Frank Mir, Brock Lesnar, Junior Dos Santos and Victor Belfort. In Alistair's recent visit to Dubai, Ali Mokdad was able to secure a one-on-one -on -one interview to speak about his upcoming fight. Ali Mokdad at the H Hotel in Dubai and I'm with the heavyweight title contender Alistair Overeem. How does that sound? I, I, I'm sure you're very happy now. You're number one. Stipe has got the belt. Let's talk about that, Alistair, because you're saying you're aging better with, with time. Um, I'm noticing, and I've been, I've been a huge fan of yours. I've been watching your fights since, since the K1 days. You looked very fluid in that fight. You were moving a lot quicker. You, you looked a lot lighter on your feet. I mean, that, that karate kick in the end that finished Arlovsky, I've never seen you do something like that before. So what do you attribute that to? Well, as a martial artist, you always need to get better and uh, you always need to reevaluate uh, your position, your style, your, your technique. You know, coming into the UFC, I was uh, more heavy. I was 260, 263 pounds. I've cut down some weight. Um, I've done that on purpose because you need to be fast. You need to be as fast in the last round as you are in the first round. And um, I think, you know, all these things together, me joining Jackson's MMA in Albuquerque, Albuquerque is a very boring city. It's a fine city, but it's a boring city. But what are you doing there? You stay focused on the sport, on what is important, winning your fight. And I think you put all those things together that uh, culminated in the result last week. And uh, you were talking about the fluidity. These are the things we train over there. It's, um, it's a very good team, very good chemistry. John Jones trains there, Cowboy Cerrone, Holly Holm. Huge names and uh, very proud and happy to be part of it. So no love lost, obviously, between you and Arlovsky. <clears throat> you got your eyes on the prize. Dominating performance, like I said before. Stipe has your belt. What's next now? Like, what? Obviously, you're taking your time off. You're gonna go back and train. But do you see something that Stipe has that you need to work on, or do you feel that you will dominate him in all aspects of the sport? Well, there's tons of things that he's gonna be bringing to the fight. He's coming with confidence. Uh, he's got his hands. He's got his wrestling. He's he's a tough guy. Um, that definitely is, is things I need to prepare for. But um, you know, the the chemistry that we have in the group and and the energy and and my ability, my athleticism. I feel very confident going into this fight. I think I will beat him everywhere. And um, yeah, I mean, it, it still poses a challenge, but at the same time, I have to thank him because he is gonna make me a better fighter. Uh, JDS very recently just said that Stipe is uh, a much stronger fighter than you. He thinks he's way better. He's obviously fought both. Um, what do you say to that? Well, I don't know. Uh, Junior lost to me and he won over Stipe. It was a close fight when he won. But uh, yeah, I don't know what to make out of that. I mean, he's, he's a person, he's entitled to his opinion. He's a, you know, this is a guy who's, who's from, I mean, there's been so much said between our fight. Yeah. And then we fought and then afterwards he was very nice and trying to shake my hand and this, and I'm like, yeah. When do you anticipate that fight to happen? Is there a timeline for you or what, what do you see? Well, I'm aiming for November 12th, the inaugural UFC event in uh, the state of New York. That's going to be a huge, huge event and, and history. As you know, New York is the capital of the world, and uh, the first UFC event there, after so long lobbying for it, it's now finally going to become a reality. Uh, so it would be very cool to be a part of that, and um, that's what, we're, what I'm aiming for.